1987 Buick Grand National. We are giving it away. LSNasty.com. JusticeWatcher69.com. For every dollar you spend, gets you one entry to be able to take home this beast. That can be you. Joy, working on this thing again. Mason? Are we having fun yet? Yeah. This thing's a lot more work than the LS shit. I will say that we should, LS swap it. we should LS swap it. I do miss the LS stuff where there's like no maintenance required. At least for us, there wasn't. Leave it in the trailer. Yeah, we got spoiled. You go slow, tall, and work yeah. You well, get slow as hell is subjective. I guess it's still faster than. I mean, else. yeah. I mean, we we went we went teens like all the time. So. I'm going to do a bullshit maintenance on this before we run this last race at Rockingham and then we're going to freshen the motor. Um, so yeah, I'm going to change the ball valve, see if we can make more boost. After the rock, we're going to put new rods in it and service the heads, take them to TCAM Performance, have Kevin and Robbie and the guys up there go over the heads. And you guys should check out their channel. They have some new videos coming out. If you guys aren't subscribed to their YouTube channel, check them out. Um, got 15. How many passes do we have on these tires? 20? No. I don't know who marks them. I don't know if they're Logan. He does every pass. Uh, we got 19 runs on them. So we could probably get one more weekend of racing out of them. And then we have to go through and, and do a lot of shit. We're going to freshen the motor we're going to put new lockup clutches in it and uh yeah that's what we're doing so this is what we're doing and uh, we're gonna move the ball valve today and re-plumb some of the vacuum stuff to see if we can eliminate the vacuum leak issue ideally by the end of the night tonight uh, i'm just going to change the oil in this thing i'm not going to change the trans fluid so i'm going to put it back in the trailer and change the oil on the lift in the trailer do you agree with that because yeah, my only because issue of laziness. That, my only issue with that is it's very difficult to get the front end on and off in the trailer. Well, I mean, I don't have a lift open right now. No, no. So. Seems like a pretty decent idea, doesn't it? We need a bigger shop. We do need a bigger shop. Size this size. Listen, hear me out. No, I'm not even going to say it in this video. I have a business idea that I think could be very beneficial to fellow racers out there. I don't know if you guys are ready to hear it, though, honestly. So I'm just going to bite my tongue i'm gonna turn the toter off and get the car in the shop and i'll physically show you guys what we're doing all right so this is what we're doing today we uh can't keep this thing shut so we're gonna move it we think it's in a high pressure area so we're gonna move this over here tried to call turbo smart a bunch of times and uh i love dealing with them they make great products great company great people uh special people special plays Special team. Special player. Special. What is it? Special teams. Special players. Special players. <laughs> All right. So I like dealing with them, but I wanted to order a different ball foul flange, but I wasn't able to get up with them. So I'm going to do my best just to cut this out around the outside of it and then just <laughs> weld it on bigger out here. That's my, my plan. That's going to be our best case Ontario. Worst case Ontario is I fuck the ball foul flange up and we run no ball foul this weekend. Um, one thing I do want to look at is the wiring because this is very valuable data. We normally don't have ball foul position on the, the car, but someone get me some cutters so I can cut this. I think, I, I just think it, it, the, the wire will have to go through the gates of hell to get to where it needs to. I'm also changing vacuum reference on a couple different things here just because we have some oddball stuff happening. And when you got some oddball stuff happening, you need to go back to the basics. And that's what we're going to do. Best case, Ontario. Look at the boom. We're good plugging that shit in there. So we're good with that. 
Um, I'm going to redo the vacuum lines. We're going to get rid of um, the Brown and Miller stuff on some things here. So what I think is happening is it's very high pressure right here and right here. The way the blow off valve works is you have manifold pressure, which is reading in there, which I, for some reason, I have an inkling that it's not the same right here as it is in there because you get manifold pressure on top plus the spring. That's what keeps this shut. So if this is opening, it means the force here is greater than manifold pressure plus spring and it's causing it to open. That being said, we're having an issue keeping the wastegate shut. Normally, I reference my wastegate. They say you can do it from the compressor cover. In the past, I've always done it from the manifold, which is how I've done it. Right now, it's getting referenced from the compressor cover. I think this is very high pressure. Same thing. You get CO2 plus uh, dome pressure. The only thing on the bottom side pushing it open is your um, compressor cover pressure, which I think is higher than it needs to be. So we're going to go everything off of the manifold and try it again. If we can't keep the wastegate shut and we can't keep the ball foul shut, I don't know. We got 190 pounds of dome pressure on it. We don't have a lot of back pressure. I called Hart. They said it's common to see this thing go three to one back pressure. So if we're trying to run 70 pounds of boost or 60 pounds of boost, we can see 180 pounds of back pressure. We're nowhere near that. Uh, we have 70 pounds of back pressure, 48 pounds of boost. We can't get it to make any more than that. On the gear changer, if you lock up the converter, it will spike to 50 or 52 and then come right back down. Worst case Ontario happening right now. We're looking for best case Ontario, and we're not there yet. A few moments later. All right. We are elbow deep in this monstrosity of a, a rebuild. All right, so this is what we got going on. The air is coming out of this unit like this, right? I put the charge pipe up there so they could see it. So the air is coming out like this. And what does the air run right into? The blow-off valve. So before it turns anywhere, it's going right into this guy. We want to put this guy, like, right back here. Let's put an X. Here, hold it up there. We'll do an X marks the spot. Just so just so we have a reference. I got to see where you put this. We want to be back behind this. Shit. Right there. Will fit with the gate. Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I hope so. What a, I mean, I could put it on the bottom side of it. Like, I can put it, like, at an angle. Like, I'd put it at a little bit of an angle. I could put it, like, right here. That's probably too much. Right there. You like that? Yeah, I like that. I mean, this is... Whiskey, or, I mean, the wall top. Cool. Make sure it's... Is it going to be an issue with your wiring? I'm getting too close to this. You like it? Yeah, I think maybe down a little bit more. Here, take the Sharpie out of my pocket. Just trace around it. Close enough? That sucked. You had, you had like oil on that shit. Or it's close, close enough. This is just like pre-mock-up. So we're going to move it up there. Now, what's the shitty part about this, Mason? Tell them. We got to cut this off. And then we got to patch it with an unpolished piece of... The patch, I'm not super, super so worried about. So, ideally, I would just get another one of these, and I would just weld this up. Like, I put a piece over it and weld it, and that's closed off, and then just put the new one over here. But we, we don't have that, so... <laughs> Damn, that looks atrocious. So, we're going to... Uh... Sharp gun work. No, you're sharp. Just, I'd heave hoe that outside the shop right now if I were you. Nice. Um, oh, you were just tracing in the grease? Here, yeah. I got you, my boy. Where'd my Sharpie go? Is that my Sharpie? <laughs> no, oh, here's my Sharpie. Sharpie. Hold on. It was up there on the toolbox, and you wanted me to reach in your pocket. As if we have a 250-millimeter blow-off valve from the looks of that drawing. <laughs> um, that's just proof of concept, I guess. All right, so what's going to suck about this is – here, flip it over. You can't hole saw it. So, like, when I weld a blow-off valve flange on, I weld the flange on, and then I go in here with a hole saw – and I drill it out after. You can't hole saw this because you have nothing to locate the hole saw. Also, you can't mess this up. So now we're going to have to use like a damn cutoff wheel, and it gets very close to this flange down here. It's a thick flange where it's welded, so we can't go into that. But we could go wider here, right? And what that will do is it'll just look like shit, honestly. But, I mean, it's just, 
Yeah, this is going to suck. So let's I mean, just... there's a good chance we end up with a whole new charge bike. Eventually, yeah, but for this weekend, this is all we have. Yeah. So we can't we um, can't mess it up. I don't think it'll be too bad. I've got this guy here, and I think we can come in. Yeah. Turn it around. And you don't have to get all the way through it. You can get really close, and then you can pop it through. Yeah. Because once aluminum gets thin, it ain't worth a damn. So yeah. you can just push it through. Yeah. I think we'll be all right. Yeah. It's a sh shame because Steven and Rock Solid Motorsports... He does such a nice he job. He does such a nice job. And we had I argued with him. And this was the notorious four to five inch charge pipe. Um, what we have found out is that it is a damn good thing we did a five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If we could do an we, eight, we'll do we an, eight. an eight. Yeah, oh, we need sorry. an eight inch. But we're going we're gonna to go to the bench. And we're going to start cutting this thing out. Um, it's been polished by DCF. Dude, so it looks great. At one point. My man, Big Joe. Sorry about it. It's going to look like butt cheeks. But if it goes fast, it's worth it. All right, this is going to be insane. We're going for the hardest, the hardest part so, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D definitely go on the, we'll go on the outside of the weld, the weld but I think out here you can go even a little bit further past it. Well, I think if we kind of just follow this line right here at the edge of the weld all the way across, that'll make it easy to... Just don't cut in the weld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to do this, all right? She's coming off. How hot is it? Right? Oh, it, it's it's not cold. I got it. 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 Whoo, baby! Beautiful. That's actually not that bad. No, we're gonna cover up where we dented it, so you can't really see that. But we 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 as in. You got a mouse in your pocket. <laughs> oh, gonna make a little patch. Look at that. Look at that. All right, I'm officially at my wit's end with this. Um, I've never fought a car so hard just trying to plumb it. This is 4AN. I only have a 4AN male fitting because I was just ordered all of these fittings, which were 8th inch MPT. I ordered some straight O-rings, which actually aren't MPT. So now we're just tapping this, and we're going to have a fucking union. This is literally the most bullshit ever be like that sometimes was that the perfect size too it's a little bit too big but how brutal is this just trying to plumb a fucking car mm -hmm. yeah it's pain in my fucking ass no it's fine dude it's just gotta hold air enough thread sealing we're gonna make a pass and it's just gonna be blowed the fuck blowed the fuck out the worst part is if you lose it on the blow-off valve, it opens it. If you lose it on the wastegates, you go to town. You fucking party. We'd rather lose it on the wastegates. Exactly, but this is going on the blow-off valve. Tap, tap broke. Just broke the fucking tap. So we're going to tap both sides, and we're going to have a female, female, <laughs> eighth-inch MPT tap. This shit looks professional. You know, if we had a lathe, we could have made this. Man, I wish I had a fucking lathe. We got one. This is an Amish lathe. <laughs> Look at our gaping hole in our fucking charge pipe. If anybody has a lathe, they'll sell for cheap. Dude, Harry did make a good point. He said we should weld that patch in from the inside so it didn't stick no, out like no, a sore no. thumb. No, no. I did not say that. <laughs> I don't mind it sticking out like a sore thumb. Imagine getting... Oh, dude, that is crooked as wow. fuck. This motherfucker. Bro, take your glasses off. Let's see if it helps. <laughs> I, wish we, I wish we had a lathe. If I had a lathe, I wouldn't have to worry about it. A non-Amish lathe. Dude, look at this. Look at this. People are going to think we have a nitrous solenoid on our dim. <laughs> we actually do. Oh, my God. All right, so you guys, just to confirm that it's not leaking, you guys each put your mouth up to one end and blow and see if it's leaking air. No, Mason, you guys do it. I'm a film. No, Mason said he'll do it for for nasty racing. That, that shit looks good, dude. That shit looks so ridiculous. Right there. <laughs> that, yeah, shit's, that shit's so ridiculous. <laughs> Yo, get a Sharpie and write NOS on it. Everything's super straight. Yo, oh now. my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, here, blow on that. 
falan. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, he's been dying to do this. I made a contraption. Are you going to put 125 on there and blow the diaphragm out? Thanks. Appreciate it. No leak. No leak. That's that's leaking. Where's it leaking from? Right there. He tapped it too deep. <laughs> you really hate to see it. Hate to see it. Is that our only one or I know I have another one of those? It's, not all the way it's what? It's not all the way oh, you got to tighten it. Unreal, man. Good thing you tested it. It's now live. We're live. Dude, this shit right here? Shook. Where's your rag with acetone? With your ass and toes. This shit right here? Oh, Bigfoot's in the back. Oh, no, that's, sorry, that's Tyler, my bad. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Big, uh, <laughs> what do you call him? Big, uh, hourly, big Bill by the Hour guy back there catching strays. Sounds fair to me. Yeah, that sounds fair to me. All right. <laughs> Look, we got Bigfoot's little brother. All right. So what we're doing here is the, we'll call a good old classic fucking patch job. This is a classic right here. Steven Eads would be proud. Yeah. This is actually John Eads at Rock Soft Motorsports clocking in. Sponsored by Blue Chew. Cock solid motorsports. All right. Let's see if this motherfucker goes out Hell no, but can I glue it together? Hell yeah. We're just gonna go for a pack right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's stuck. Oh, what the hell? Oh my God, oh my God. I don't know what happened there. There's a lot of movement. I think you hit a little contaminant, you know, no big deal. Rate that one to ten. More filler, boss man. Look at look at the vice. What? Oh, oh shit! Yeah, you ain't got no ground. Coat. Oh yeah. Fuck. Oh, on, bro. bro. No one. No, the ground. Oh. Put it on the pipe. Oh, it doesn't ground through um, microfibers. Microfibers. Well, it it's actually gonna did. It's gonna cost you one ass whooping from Joe Dieters because he mm -hmm. fucks polish up and a microfiber. <laughs> That's you. I didn't set the welder up. You did. Alright, I'm gonna I'm fucking freehand this like I'm welding on the pipeline, no support. You know what? I think it's burning a hole in it. No. I'm welding it hot, bit. so I'm going for that penetration. Hold you on, don't. Man. You gotta hit it with a hammer. Right. Adjustable hammer. There's some gap. How's my penetration looking on the bottom side? I, I was just going to check that, you know? Are we penetrating? Well, not yet. <laughs> oh, there's got to be penetration there. No penetration. Dude, there's got to be. None whatsoever. I'm wide open at 136 amps. I ain't worried about it. That shit ain't coming off. No, it ain't. And if it does, it's going to blow a hole in the damn side of the damn car, which I'm here for. Which actually would be hilarious. Yeah, yeah I'm good <laughs> with it. If this comes off, I'm good with it. Are going to do a weld off of you? You should stop it with Mason weld. No. Yes. Yeah, let me get a rip. Yeah, let me get a rip in it. Mason's turn. Mason. I, look, I panicked when you said Mason. Mason can weld to right here. All right, go ahead, Mason. And now we're going to let... Are you get, you're actually going to give me a rip? You're going to let fucking... What are you about to... What are you, big big by, Bill by the Hour guy get a rip? Yeah, here, give, give me a... Give oh, me a hell shit. no. We all got a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give me... Let me get one. Oh, it's just... This is damn 370 approved if I've ever seen it. It's crazy, Mason. You still look like a lesbian with that on. <laughs>
I wish more. I oh, wish he got his shorts on and his damn shoes on. He ready to go fucking march in a gay parade. I can't wait to. Uh... I don't know if I can keep that in the video, honestly. All right, let's see it, Mason. Oh, look at him. So, you know what? That's bullshit. That's I was I, hold I, on. I was I was freehand and everything. I, freehand. I was I had the damn that's shit over my shoulder and I wasn't touching nothing. This motherfucker gonna sock himself off. Damn. 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 You st you stopped you stopped you stopped going on the seam. You started welding into no man's land. That's a thin spot right there. That's a, that's a problem. Are you blind? Yeah. You started welding off into damn no man's land. Where are you going, man? You said yeah. I got the welder right here. No, you get the welder right there. Oh, okay. Let's check our penetration. Yeah, penetration? None, dude. Let's get a light None. Zero penetration. Let's get a wedge. Zero pen. Dude, that, that shit is going to blow out. <laughs> that shit's going to blow out. 100%. Oh, we need a little hammer action right here. Yeah. That sealed up? Yeah. Dude, do better. Do better. Bro, he's getting adjusted right now. Ooh, oh, he, he switched hands now. Look at, look at the technique of how he's holding it. I didn't switch hands. I just, I can't freehand. This is a real issue here. If Dude, I freehand, big, ben easy. big bench welder. Big bench welder. I'm shaking. Knees weak, arms spaghetti. Oh, he's feeding that wire. He's feeding the geese. Okay. He's feeding the geese. Are you ready to tap out? You look uncomfortable as hell. Yeah, oh, he's, ta he's tapping really, out. I don't want to be here. Oh, wow. That's the side everyone's going to see. All right, my turn. It, I don't know what happened there. Why did it, Dude, yeah, that dude. sucks ass. Let's hear it, Harry. Why, hey, why yeah. did I do that? What? what are you trying to do? Get some more filler rod? <laughs> he's looking for yeah. gloves. He's going to use all of it. Hey, you want some gloves? Yeah, let me fucking... Let me pop some gloves. Here's how you take gloves off. Damn, dummy. how you take gloves off like an adult. Dude. Like fucking amateur hour over here. Who won that battle? Definitely you. <laughs> Unreal. I don't know what happened. Unreal. They, Unreal. Big talk. You always talking big, bro. Contaminated. Always talking big. Always talking big. Contaminated. Bro, the only thing that's contaminated was your fucking welding hand. <laughs> Oh, he's going some high-speed shit right here, folks. He's trying to show out. What happened there, Mary? What do you mean, bro? Oh, hey, that looks decent. I think I'm giving you a run for your money right there. You want me to make it look good? I think your boots are still No, no. Hey, you got to stay on my team. Uh, okay. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> wow. I see him resting his wrists a lot and shit. Mm -hmm. I was the only one man enough to freehand that shit. Yeah, <laughs> wow, you could really, you could really tell when Mason got a hold of that shit. Harry's cold ass. Mason looked like he hit it with a fucking spool gun. <laughs> <laughs> I was. How much pedal were you giving it? Like half. Oh, I was yeah, wide was, open. He was eight, yeah, eight. yeah, yeah yours is just you're so oh, yeah, zero penetration. Really, I'm the only one that got penetration. Zero penetration. No, you have none. Really? You have none. Really? You have none. That me. None. Zero. Me. You can't see it. the camera. Can't see it. Never Look happened. It. Never happened. So I'm starting to think that maybe, maybe. How, I don't understand. Really understand maybe how he, he got. Just fucking suck. How did he? Well, John said he was running it wide open. I was I wide open. Running it wide open. Well, yeah, he was. And wide then I quickly it, realized that wide open. Hold on, time out though. Time out though. You gotta back off when you get it. Yeah. His better. shit. His shit. The 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 whole thing was already hot, so he was able to uh, yeah, penetration. Yeah. To I was hot. welding cold, yeah. right? My my yeah. my shit was cold, so I had to stay in the beans. We need yeah. Tyler. Tyler's our. Oh, 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 Tyler. There you are. All right. I don't know. At first, I was on par with you. Right here. Each I got, each I section. Each section is someone else, right? Who had the best welds? 
Don't try. don't touch it because no, it's hot. It's cold. That looks like a fucking crater right there. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Damn, Mason. Last. That, that was me. All right, now you got this side right here. See this shit right here versus this right here. So, you, are you calling it a draw? Is that a tie? I mean, I'm looking at the fucking. Looks like somebody tried to make a center punch right there. <laughs> Damn, just he just can't get over here. So we hey we tied hey good good good, good time Mason. Hey, I bet that shit holds up phone. Damn. Watch it fucking break everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> it's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Mason's one fucking side is gonna be like a fucking boost. No, that shit looks good. All right, now we gotta um put the ball valve on. See the difference between me and you is I'm not afraid to come back and grind that shit off. <laughs> All right, guys, we got everything wrapped up. We need to put some polish on it to make it look good. We uh, we had to fix some stuff, and, you know, listen, we're, we're in full-blown race car mode at this point. Trying to work out all the bugs, still fighting some of the new car blues, but we did make some changes to the configuration, so we'll go through it real quick. Obviously, we moved the blow-off valve from here, which I believe is a high-pressure location, to a little bit more low pressure out of the way. Um, we also changed the vacuum reference, so... Now we have some push lock stuff. Unfortunately, the downside to using this nice Brown and Miller stuff is it's one and done. Once you put it up there, there's no modifying it. There's no changing it or anything. So I just ordered some push lock stuff. We got a good seal on everything. And uh, we have a manifold reference coming out. Uh, we actually have two different ones. One right here is going to the fuel pressure regulator. This one's going to our waste gates and blow-off valve. So as you can see, we got our... Uh, massive adapter fitting the push lock so we got our blow valve reference there and then we have where it comes down here and then we have our wastegate reference as well so the goal is uh, get more accurate manifold pressure to the wastegate and blow valve opposed to having you know the blow valve in a high pressure position getting blown open to the wastegate getting referenced off this high pressure uh, turbo outlet and then getting blown open that way so um is it the prettiest no uh if we make a new charge pipe and put everything in there will it look fine yes but for now we're hoping that this can you know it's a change we're looking to see a result and if the result is what we want then we'll make a permanent uh solution to it but uh, we're going to change oil on this thing and stick it back in the trailer and get ready to go to rockingham this weekend